Concrete slump variations at site, how to deal with it? The variation of concrete slump from one truck to another is due to aggregate moisture content, concrete temperature, mixing process, and time of delivery, waiting, and unloading. The aggregate moisture content is maximum in the morning and decreases as the day progresses due to heat from sunlight. So, it is clear that the measurement of moisture from aggregate cannot be controlled, and hence variations in concrete slump cannot be entirely avoided. The rise of concrete temperature by 12 degrees Celsius requires 3.78 liter extra water to maintain the same slump value that concrete could have at a lower temperature. Proper mixing of concrete is essential to achieve a uniform concrete batch. 70 to 100 revolutions for mixing can help achieve a consistent batch. The volume of mixed concrete should not exceed 63% of drum volume, otherwise, a uniform concrete batch cannot be achieved. The required slump should be maintained for 30 minutes, beginning from the time of concrete arrival to the construction site or after initial slump adjustment. The contractor would be held accountable if the concrete slump is reduced due to prolonged delivery, waiting, and unloading. If the concrete slump falls outside the specified range, the slump needs to be adjusted. Adjusting the slump of concrete is a part of the concreting process, which the contractors should manage properly and cautiously. If the slump is lower, introducing water or superplasticizer to the concrete in the mixer can solve the problem. However, if the slump value is high, adding cement to fresh concrete in the transit mixer, extra revolutions of concrete in the mixer, or introducing silica fume can tackle the problem. The slump adjustment is both expensive and time-consuming, and it may not always be effective. If the slump is less than the minimum specified range when the concrete arrives on site, water can be added to increase the concrete slump. Nonetheless, the maximum acceptable water cement ratio must not be exceeded. The water should be added to the full load of concrete. Avoid adding water to the middle or the end of the concrete batch. Add water through the head section of the drum or both head and discharge sections of the drum. The use of a hose to spray additional water on concrete is not recommended. After the water is added to the concrete batch, provide 30 extra revolutions at the normal mixing speed to ensure that a homogeneous mixture is attained. The process of adding water to concrete in the transit mixer should be finalized within 15 minutes. It is observed that the addition of 2 liters per cubic meter of water increases the concrete slump by 10 millimeters. However, this is influenced by other conditions such as temperature and air content. The addition of water changes the concrete properties. For instance, introducing nearly 3.8 liters of water leads to the increase of concrete slump by 2.54 cm, reduction of concrete strength by 1 MPa to 1.38 MPa, waste of a quarter of a cement bag, and increased shrinkage by 10%. The addition of a superplasticizer is another method to increase concrete slump. Superplasticizer increases concrete slump without affecting the concrete properties. That is why it becomes the only option when the maximum permissible width C ratio has been used in the concrete mix. The addition of superplasticizer improves concrete pumpability without changing the width C ratio. When the slump of concrete is higher than the maximum acceptable range, it would be necessary to decrease it. The addition of cement can reduce the slump of concrete. The slump of concrete can be reduced through increased heat and grinding action of additional revolutions, but its effectiveness is questionable and requires a long time. An air detainer may be used to decrease air content and hence decrease the concrete slump. It is reported that a reduction of the air content by 1% leads to a decrease of slump by 1.27 cm. One should be aware that concrete with high air content is usually sent back to the concrete batching plant. The addition of silica fume is another way of reducing the slump of concrete, but it may not be the right choice since silica fume darkens concrete color, which may not be acceptable to the client.